hello everyone welcome back in today's tutorial if you are new to informatica mdm and would like to start to learn the informatica mdm then i think you reach to right place because this is the very first video which i would recommend you you should go through before going to start learning other topics of informatica mdm so let's start informatica mdm overview what is mdm so we need to know this basic term mdm stands for master data management and it is a solution to ensure the uniformity accuracy stewardship consistency accountability of all business critical data mdm solution comprises a broad range of data cleansing transformation and integration practices what does it means it means what are the data any organization or any industry maintains it need to be standardized it need to be clean it need to be kept in a such a proper format that all the system will get a same view about the information which we are maintaining Nor in normal case various organization has different departments and each department stores their own information about same product or same customer so in order to collect such information make it standard version and provide such a start standard version to consuming application is nothing but master data management why we need master data management or why any organization will go for master data management there are various issue and there will be various complexities the very few thing we are going to say in this example is so as in that we have one organization and that organization has several department departments such as accounting department sales department customer service department same organization can have multiple lines of business such as business unit 1 business unit 2 business unit 3 and all these departments and business unit have their own application to manage information so all those application store information in the persistent store such as databases so they need they they will have their own applications also their own databases to store after collecting all the information it will that information will be sent to data warehouse in order to analyze the data produce the report and verify whether the the company or organization achieved the expected goal so it will definitely help to project or the prospect or target of given company based on that analysis of data but as in the case where the data itself is not correct so what are the projected growth or projected benefits organization plans they it will never meet so we need to have the correct data in this example for example a customer a joe smith is a premium customer which will be maintained in one system the other system will maintain the other information such as when this joe smith opted for email in this example we have mentioned december 16 joe smith is opted out his address has changed in month of jan 2017 so this is just information which will be maintained in some different or various departments and line of business also there will be one relationship between this joe smith customer and another customer julia and this customer also holds three accounts and it belongs to abc corp so all such information will be maintained at a different location and if you want to have the single view or the 360 view of a customer then you need to get all the information at one place and that is the need for mdm that is master data management now we know we got the idea of, yes we need the master data management then why informatica mdm why not any other product 
in market you will find more than 50 master data management products available out of all those product informatica mdm is one of the leading one of the le leading vendor so i have captured here one of the important information from Gartner's reports. So Gartner is actually uh, a third party or the external vendor. It's not uh, any product. It's a third party service which actually conduct the surveys in the not only in United States but across world. They do the survey. They reach to the actual end client who are using this product they take the input from them they also take the input from all the levels such as de from beginning from the developers to uh, the testing also to the end users with uh, to check the behavior and the usage of application so as this gartner consider all this factor the report generators are more significant to industry so you can see in this report we have the four blocks at the right, top right we have the leaders left we have the challengers and the, at the bottom we have the niche players and the visioners so in this block we can see the informatica is definitely leader and it is the one of the well proven solution in industry and that's the reason we need to learn this product it will lead to more opportunity let's have a brief view about informatica mdm architecture so as we can see there are some upstream system also there are some downstream system to the mdm and within mdm we have the various stages such as model quality identity reliability hierarchies stewardship and sync so once we got the requirement from the business first we need to design the model once we design the model we have to configure in the mdm hub once we configure we have to define the rules for the cleansing and we have to make sure the data which will be produced will be enriched once it is loaded after cleansing in mdm tables we have to determine the matches of the record for example mike paul and michael paul these are not two person but are but these are the same person so those matches need to be determined once we determine the matches we have to merge those once we merge those record become a golden copy or master copy once we have the master copy we can achieve the relationship between the those records or those parties or those customers the relationships or the relate nothing but the the hierarchy among the organization or the hierarchy in the industry you can achieve the hierarchy between the organization or the individuals also for example if one, any company or organization acquiring other companies there will be a master company there will be subsidiary company if there is a um, hierarchy in your company or in our orga organization such as there will be developer there will be leads there will be managers there will be senior manager there will be department head so this kind of hierarchy also can be maintained in the mdm hub once we develop the solution once we place in place with in place the relationship the next thing will come as a data stewardship so once we develop the solution we have to keep control on those information because it's more critical to business and that can be achieved through data steward also we have to use the security also so that the data will not go outside the industry unless it is, it is authenticated then we can synchronize fed rate and notify so once we are done with one time activity there will be daily job or weekly job or monthly job which we need to carry out in order to get the new data new updates from the sources so that will be taken care of the synchronization so once we are done with this all this setup we can consume the data from sources and publish the data to consumer so this is the architecture of informatica mdm let's have a quick deep dive in the mdm framework 
so MDM framework has basically three layers or I would say it has a three major job first is stage job low job and match and merge so stage job is happen between two layers. the first layer is called as a landing layer where the source send the data in MDM landing there is a stage layer with the stage tables exit and we have the base object also so pushing the data from landing table to stage table is called stage process pushing data from land stage table to base object is called as a load process the stage process is responsible for the data cleansing data enrichment the load process is responsible for checking the integrity of data once we are loaded with the data in MDM base object the next thing comes as a match process where we do the match process and identify match matches of record in the existing data after matching is done the next process comes is merge so merge is actually used to merge the multiple record into single and create a golden copy once we have golden copy we can publish the, it to downstream or consumer so this is very simple and straightforward framework okay we got the architecture we got the framework what next so we got some basic idea what other things we need to learn to learn this technology or to learn this MDM solution Informatica provide major five components as a product build the first component is Informatic MDM Hub, which normally used by developer and MDM Hub administrator. Developers do the configuration, like config the data model, config the landing, staging, base object table, configuring the match and merge setup, and other activities. Administrator do the administrative work, such as creating the users, creating secure resources and also providing access to users so that also will be carried out in the MDM hub the Informatica data director tool or it is a web based application that means you can access through web browser so this application can be used to control the data or most of the time data steward or business people use this application to achieve updates insert or delete on the records next thing we need to learn is active OS. active OS is BPM engine we also known it is also known as business process management application active OS is a third party or the third company which is acquired by Informatica in 2013 active OS is used to create a task which will be integrated with Informatica data director we have provisioning tool also which can be used for business perspective so that the most of the technical things will be available in Informatica MDM Hub, Informatica Data Director. But to present the things to business provisioning tool will help. The next thing we need to learn as a part of Informatica MDM is services integration framework. We also know it is also known as the SIF. So SIF is used to integrate the MDM data to third third component or it is particularly used to integrate the two applications one is MDM and other is any external application normally it is a web service which can easily consume by the consume applications so how this tools looks like the Informatica hub looks like this this is a standalone application which will have the configuration section the model section where you can configure the tables we can see once you configure the tables de define the relationship it will automatically generate logical data model it do not generate physical data model that is important thing to remember how IDD look or Informatica data director looks Informatica data directory director is a very simple web application and it looks you can access through browser so it looks like uh, uh, very simple so you in order to configure you have to use admin tool or uh, informatica data director admin tool where you can create application and once it is created application you can use it how active OS looks like 
Activos, as I said, it is a business process management tool. So explicitly, we don't have to any, do anything with it. But for monitoring purpose, or as Activos administrator, you might need to monitor the activities going on. It is internally connected to the Informatica data director. But for that, we need to do some basic configuration. How provisioning tools look? Provisioning tool, as I said, it is more for business people to understand the uh, what are the things going on in the MDM hub. So most of the modeling thing, configuration thing can be done through this. And this tool looks like this. This is also a web application. Services integration framework is nothing but the API provided by Informatica to integrate the multiple system with MDM. By default, it also provides one web service which can be used to integrate the external application or the external systems with MDM Hub. I think this is the very pretty much you need to learn uh, before going to start learning about Informatic MDM. I would appreciate if you comment, if you, if you give thumbs up or if you like this video and uh, if you want to watch the further videos do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you again and have a nice time